You're listening to Larry and Kathy Radio. Rise and shine. Larry and Kathy Radio. Every morning. Good morning, everybody. It's a tragic Monday. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, it's we're all alive. It didn't snow crazy or anything. Yeah. And uh, what is, are, are we supposed to, like, is winter over? Are, are we We're done? supposed to be like, what, 80 degrees Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this week? Right. I'm wearing my yeah. sundress. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with my white lace gloves. I'm Although all, it was cold on opening day. Oh, man, I was there. Were I, <laughs> was the yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you actually went to the game. You yeah. didn't just go to the bars. No, I went. They didn't yeah. close, I mean, they didn't call it for snow? They delayed it. Um, and it, it wasn't like, I don't know. There was not much snow falling. It was just windy and cold just and miserable. Colorado. It looked miserable. Yeah, it didn't. Definitely wasn't the best opening day. It was the coldest opening day ever recorded for the Rockies. For real. And this mm-hmm. is like the twentieth anniversary, their twenty fifth anniversary since yeah, they something like that. Uh, something. Well, Larry Uliberry on sports knows the answer. Oh, I'm to that. sorry, Larry Uliberry on sports. <laughs> it is the twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Thank yes. you very much. Wow. Twenty five right. years. God, I hope I'm right. <laughs> I hope please, I'm right. Please, please, please don't please, say anything please. if I am wrong. <laughs> um, no, no, uh, we just witnessed a very special moment because, uh, you know, Mike has brought in cinnamon rolls and, you know, I'll bring in like, you know, breakfasty things. I brought in the waffle maker. Yes. Mm-hmm. But for the first time, Kathy fed Mike some hamburger that was left over in her car <laughs> from yesterday. And Mike ate an old hamburger. Uh, no, he didn't. Like oh, it, was, was it? it was bad. He, he tried. <laughs> it wasn't fun. Because you tried to nuke it? Yeah, no, no, I didn't, I didn't even, even try to nuke it. Oh. So right before I came here, I had the girls with me. Right. So, well, this is yesterday. Right yesterday, excuse And me. so you had all that stuff in your car and right. you were like... And so I was so... No, so we went before I came to see you guys. Uh-huh. He was starving. And so I was like... Always. so. <laughs> I got a hamburger and the bun was totally like an old bun. And Box. so I, it totally root and the burger was it kind of burned. I was like, mm-hmm. I just didn't want it. Just it. didn't live. I had a bite. I was like, this is sad. I was, hey, I was already Wiggins pulled used to away. Eat stuff that was like super old and he right. still lived. Yes, exactly. You, you know what I mean? So you'll be all right. I think yeah. the record was it was a taco Something. that was three weeks old. Something. I don't know yeah. if it was that old, but I mean, <laughs> like, and the thing is, they take those fast food meals and the kids put them in jars mm-hmm. to do science with it. Mm-hmm. And it's still the same. Hamburger a year later. They don't yeah. get moldy. So I think you're okay. Yeah, you are going to be okay. But again, uh, bad bun. Uh, <laughs> bad bun. <laughs> um, so coming up, we're going to obviously talk about the fact that Kathy got to meet The Rock. I did. Yeah. Oh my God. So here's and, the thing. What I know that because you go out on the junkets, you kind of have to. Uh, it's your job to maybe put a positive spin on a movie or whatever. Um. Like yeah. Sometimes. I mean, well, that's definitely why they schmooze some of these people. Why they have like the junket in Hawaii, uh, right, right, right. or they send you to. Paris, they want you to be really oh, right. proud of the movie and tell exactly. people to go, right, but I don't have that reach. Okay, so, so then, but, but my thing is, I look at the trailer for it and I go, it looks a little silly. Yeah. So, like, I, but I we'll mean. We'll talk about that. Okay, yeah. Okay, yes. And it, But I mean, is it like, is the, is it King Kong related or is this its own no, it's, thing? No, it's the video game Rampage. Okay. Don't you remember the video game Rampage? So uh-huh. it was the the gorilla, and he he would stomp on a building, and it would fall down. Okay. And next to him was a big old lizard, uh-huh. and he was banging on the building, and it would fall down. And then every once in a while, a lady in a red dress would come out with blonde hair, and the gorilla would grab her and eat her. The They're all in the movie. Huh? Is so, so yeah. It's a, and then did, the other one was the wolf. Well, his last movie, Jumanji. Yes. Was. A video game, mm-hmm, kind right, of. So right, this right. is. Do they acknowledge that this is a video game, or no. is this this is just real? It's just yeah, real. But okay, yeah. real circumstances that are well, crazy. Well, you know exactly science. Right. Yes, <laughs> but you know, but you could. But I learned a lot about The Rock regarding these kind of movies while I was there. And it looked like you were outside with him or something. Are you guys when you took your picture? Where, where were you? Well, are we getting into this now? Okay, or fine, are we coming well, back? Let's talk. Plus, I want to talk to Larry Ulibar on sports because something huge is happening right now in Denver. With one of our teams. Yes. Ooh. Right? I don't know. Oh, That's my God, mean, Bolte. You're the sports guy <laughs> that backs him up. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, obviously, she's talking about the Colorado Rockies. Mm-hmm. No? <laughs> oh, she's talking about the Denver Broncos. Oh, the Denver Nuggets? Oh, yeah. The, the Nuggets? A- Avalanche. No. Yeah. What uh, about them? What about them? Um, I'll tell you what about the okay, Avalanche. Good. <laughs> they have some of the best like uh, concessions that I've ever had. There's and an Avalanche <laughs> warning in Moffat County. Right. There's an Avalanche <laughs> warning. You get to sit close to the glass, yeah. and sometimes guys fight, and then it's encouraged, which is 
barbaric. Different. Playoffs. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kathy <laughs> just said playoffs. Yes. What does that mean? That we're obviously in the playoffs. <laughs> I'm not stupid. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm wearing Jerry my Jerry. Avalanche jersey for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously ask. we made the playoffs, but you know. Um, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I mean, you're like acting the, like this is the first time you've heard the news. <laughs> <laughs> when did this happen? <laughs> I don't know, a couple nights ago. Oh, okay. Saturday night. Yeah, thank you. They beat the Blues. <laughs> they see, there's the sports guy. Yeah, I was hoping would come know. out. Um, you went to the home opener as well. <clears throat> yeah, I went to the opening day. It was blowing snow. It was not the best opening day ever. It was. We left early. It was freezing. Right. It was Colorado Did, opening day. For it was like sure. frozen rain hitting you in the face. Yeah, definitely. Um, no, ah. eight three. We lost for Boo. sure. Yep. It's hard to get warm in the weather like that. I know, but the weather. Well, war- the other teams seem to do it fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> the weather is going to get warmer and. That's, Eighty degrees. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so that sounds pretty crazy. And then it's going to go snow again. Right. So, right. <laughs> well, soon it'll be like your poor AC is running all day, at least my uh, Right, way. exactly. Yeah. But even then, I still find myself keeping it in a way normal range than some people. Some people will like set it to 65 and then leave the house. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's like, I, no, it's always you know nice and chill in here. <laughs> Especially still, down here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's freezing down here. Right. I was about to, yes. So I was about to grab a blanket. <laughs> yeah, Larry would come down here and I'd be producing something and I'm wrapped up in a blanket, <laughs> like sitting here shaking. Your nose is all yeah, cold. <laughs> Neanderthal. Uh-huh. Hey, um, so we got to see the girls yesterday. That was awesome. Mm, yes. Um, they the, loved seeing you. And Gianna, man, she can totally just talk normal. No, she says no, she things. can't. No, I mean, she, she says full sentences, you know. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, T can't. She, she also is just a mimic. It's an echo of Avery, which she's has got to right. trip you out. Yeah. Because she's like, I don't, I like this Minnie Mouse. And she's like, I got a Minnie Mouse. See? Right. And you're <laughs> like, whoa, stock much? <laughs> Have your fair, own personality right. much? Exactly. Get your own opinion. <laughs> I know. And it's like she's Two-year-old. Get your own she, opinion. She yeah, worships Avery, and Avery's like, meh. You're right. Oh no, we should be friends. Yeah. No, for real. Right. Uh, so you, like, thank you for watching them. Oh, they're so adorable. Yeah, and Chris got to watch them too, so that was awesome. Yes. Um. So we're gonna talk about the movie, um, that was the video game. I thought it was a King Kong play. I thought this was like <laughs> rocks King on King, King Kong. I really thought that was. Well, where no, that I was get going. it because I mean he's he grows to a size of like a building, a room. mini King Kong. Yeah. So right. 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 But no, I mean I'll. I'll it's I'll also a little it. bit of that movie, Amy. Amy, gorilla and t- learn Amy. Amy talk gorilla, gorilla I will, talk Amy. I will, I will tell you how it all went down. What was that Next. movie called? Uh, yeah, I don't, we, that? Right, um, it was, um, Amy. Amy Bull. No, <laughs> no, it was that. It was another gorilla movie. I know movie. we had somebody help us out one right, morning with it, it was, but I don't uh, remember. Oh, damn it. Uh, Re- it was a movie. It was, it was a gorilla Amy. movie. Yeah. It was like a. Yeah, bolt- I'm not going to no, help I'm you here. To oh, here. Okay. Um, they put this machine on a gorilla so she could speak. So she would hit buttons, or when she did her sign language, the machine would speak for her. Okay. Uh-huh. So the voice was Amy. 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 <laughs> and so Amy go poo poo. Amy go poo poo. And they're like, good Amy. Good Amy. Amy hungry. Amy, Amy hungry. Good Amy. Get Amy a banana. So then toward the end of the movie, like Amy's having regular conversations. Amy's like, not feeling that confident with myself lately. Yeah. I feel what? like I am fat Amy. and out of shape. Amy, Amy out of shape. And yeah, her son, Amy out of shape. She'd, she'd really expanded her vocabulary after a while. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. You're listening to Larry and Kathy Radio. A thin all beef patty with smoked Gouda cheese, smoked bacon, on two small buns. The new double bacon cheese Fetty Whopper from Burger King. Served with dread curly fries and a Coke. Burger King. We'll keep an eye out for you. You're listening to Larry and Kathy Radio. A van in Aurora. I live in a van in Aurora. Cross streets, Havana, Florida. Been living in Havana, got kicked out of my nana's Havana in Aurora. Rent in Denver is outrageous. 2002 bed. Officially, it's gentrification. Eviction coming soon. Didn't know what I was gonna do. 
Good thing I have a van Where do I wanna drive to? I think I see the popo Or am I going loco? I think I see the popo Go! Out of my nanas, a van in Aurora. Aurora Police Department. Yeah, I wanted to call and say that there's a, a weird van out where I live, and uh, I don't know. It's just it's been showing up recently, and I think like somebody's living in it. Where is this located? Um, basically at the intersection of Havana and Florida. Okay, and what makes you think somebody is living in the van? Well, because I see this guy, he's getting in and out of it, and like sometimes he'll get out and like go poop in the bushes. Okay, um, I can send a car by to check it out. Perfect, thank you so much. You're welcome. Ah! A van in Aurora. I live in a van in Aurora. Cross streets. Havana, Florida Been living in Havana Got kicked out of my nanas Havana in Aurora Time for Fat America <laughs> You know, it sucks because I had lost like 30 pounds, you know Like yeah. when it went plant-based Because I was all gung-ho about it Right, oh yeah, it was annoying And then I was like I'm going to reward myself for not eating little creatures, <laughs> and I'm going to eat everything else. <laughs> so it kind of sucks. Um, so well, i got to get back into, you know, the vegetable section of the grocery store. Right. Instead of the... The actual plants. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, corn chips are made from corn. Plants. That's what I say. That's right. exactly what I say. And soy, my fake soy meats are made from plants. <laughs> right. So, but I, I'm still proud. I mean, you haven't let dairy back in your life, have you? A little bit here and there. Chris is going full bore, man. <laughs> he's like, he's just hooked Bailed. up the Velveeta drip. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not cheese. See, so you can no, have exactly. as much of that as you want. <laughs> no, no. It's like, and the thing is, it's like, there. like I said before, my fake cheese is only available at Whole Foods. And every time I go there, it's sold out. Mm-hmm. So it kind of sucks. So sometimes I, I don't know. I found some like cheeseless products, which are really awesome. Amy, Amy, Amy cheeseless here pizza. Here he goes again. Amy, Amy, oh, cheeseless right. pizza. Cheeseless pizza. It's <laughs> so bomb. No, it's, it's not. so good. It looks it, good. It really I saw is. it on your Instagram. I'm telling you, it's so good. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, what else do you have besides? <laughs> we haven't even started. Eat? Yeah, I'm ready to eat. What else you got? Yeah, we got some cooking? Wendy's. All right, yeah, I do. Well, let's start with Chipotle. Chipotle has revealed which states eat the most burritos. Guac cheese, like you were saying, cheese uh-huh. and more. Okay, so who eats the most burritos? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I always <laughs> want to say the fat states Careful. like Mississippi and stuff like that where everybody's fat. But then you know like California, that love burritos. Okay, so first off, it's it's how who eats the most burritos per capita. That's the first one. Race-wise? No. Mexicans. <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, I'm Latino. I can say that. <laughs> Careful. Are you sure? Are you sure you're a lot of my, No, I met a lot of white people really get down on oh, burritos. Okay. <laughs> they yeah. might not be as spicy. Tex-Mex, right. Yeah. Um, but here's the funny thing. So... The top 10 states for eating Chipotle, Montana, okay. Utah. No. They probably get a lot of beef. They don't have the sofritas up in Montana. <laughs> Colorado. Okay, yeah, oh. we're there. Idaho. Yeah, you are, but your sex life <laughs> has nothing to do with this. See, again, didn't I just say all nice. white people like right. burritos? Do you, 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 okay, yeah, okay, so uh, North Dakota, oh. Oregon, Minnesota, New Hampshire, New Mexico, and the number one place... Where people eat the most of their burritos per capita, you're going to die. It's a state that only has two Chipotles in it. What? Where? Wyoming. What? Really? Yeah. They only have two Chipotles? Two Chipotles in the, in the entire the state. Most? And they eat the most per capita. Man. You know Isn't what, that pe- crazy? When you first discover Chipotle, first of all, oh. you're blown away with like... This giant burrito's all mine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It's like, all mine? <laughs> and it's America. flavorful. Right, and it's like, oh, you keep the foil on to keep the burrito, and you peel it like a banana, <laughs> yeah, right. you know? Oh. oh, and then, yeah, for sure. The I states mean, that eat the least Chipotle are Alabama. I'm sorry, were you done daydreaming? No, no, no. I was, I was always thinking of opening a rival to Chipotle, which would be a giant taco. So uh. it'd be like just as big a version of a taco, and it would have the all the same stuff. The problem with that is a bigger taco would... 
it's hard to get to and the the sauce would make the shell soften I know. sometimes that happens on a normal sized taco so. I know I'm gonna I, we have some problems in the lab <laughs> yeah I, I, in our research I'm we've sorry, tried different kinds we of were... shells There's okay that's, that's of phase shells. two right I'm sorry and I then, was jumping the if I do a soft taco it's basically just a chipotle burrito, burrito. <laughs> Copyright. Okay, so, <laughs> the 10 states that eat the least Chipotle, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, North Carolina. Yep. <laughs> They're like, we don't want is. none of your burritos coming through here. <laughs> Build a wall around us. <laughs> Diablo. Build a wall around <laughs> South Carolina, Florida, Tennessee, <laughs> Delaware, Illinois, and New York are the only like northern states that don't eat, really eat Chipotle. Huh. huh. huh so funny. Okay, so uh, they also found that Maryland orders the most white rice and mild salsa. They would. I have white rice and <laughs> salsa. So Maryland, white. That's yes. what we are. That's what they want. Wyoming chooses the most brown rice. Okay. <laughs> New Mexico is the most pinto beans and spicy red salsa. Uh-huh. Utah likes their black beans. <gasps> Just because oh. it's so taboo. <laughs> yeah. They're like, <laughs> it's strange. <laughs> right. That's right. right. Don't tell my father I put black beans in the burrito. Oh, yeah, she's like, I'll put, I'll put on the burrito. I'll put, I'll put. Uh, and Ohio likes sour cream and cheese. Okay. okay, there you go. So there's that. Now, okay, so now let's hit, talk about Wendy's. Okay. There was a that dude one. a while ago that got free nuggets for a year. Say that again? Free nugs for a year at Wendy's. This guy won it, okay? Okay. He died. No. <laughs> <laughs> On April 5th, he um, he got the... he. What you had to do was get the most retweets for... And you would get free nugs for a year, okay? Okay, and sometimes that like turns out to be like... You can go once a week, or you know they don't give you like unlimited. Right. They mm-hmm. give you like the average person might eat. At, you know. So he asked Wendy to help him retweet something. Wendy's helped him. He ended up getting three point four million retweets in a month, and that let him win the all time record free chicken nuggets for a year. That's got to kill your husband. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, Mr. yesterday was the loves yes, chicken nuggets. He does man. He's it's nasty. He, he, he's like done uh, chicken nuggets eating contests. Yes, and stuff like for that. reals. And you know, and there's. Some some like potluck thing happening at the girls' school next week. Guess what he's taking? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> like Mr. Efficient eats so many chicken nuggets, he poops out a whole chicken. Yeah, all chicken. It goes right. into a form. It, right. It looks like a Boston market that's been on the spindle for a long time. <laughs> okay. So yesterday was the one year anniversary of when he got that. So they added up how many chicken nuggets he ate over the year. The answer: not that many. It's about 33 a month. Kind of disappointing. He's eating one nugget for every 8,500. Right. I, I told yeah. you they jip you on that. Yeah. But you think you're going to win a, a lifetime supply of something. Yes. And it's like one 12 ounce thing a month for. No, I think yeah. that was just him. He didn't oh. get in there as much as oh. he'd hoped. Oh, I see yeah, what you're right. saying. Mm. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. And then finally, did McDonald's just make an ad letting you know your small penis is good? Um, I don't know who you're talking. You must be talking to Bolton because when you yeah. said small penis, you were looking at him. <laughs> well, that's what the rumor is. Baby Abby. dick. <laughs> Baby dick. <laughs> Baby dick. <laughs> I've never heard that before. That's hilarious. Yeah, I get it all the time. <laughs> That's why he likes Trump, too, because he's like, ooh, his little hands on my tiny dick will make it look huge. Yeah, same guy, same Huge. <laughs> so, okay, so McDonald's. He doesn't really like Trump, but his family does. <laughs> he never does. <laughs> and he may or may not have yeah, a baby. Dick. His brother and dad love Donald Trump, yeah, really as do my stepfather and my brother in law. Sometimes life them. is the shit. We don't have to like them. Right. Baby dick. <laughs> baby dick. <laughs> All right, Max, what do you got over there, Cassie? Dirty bit. I'm sorry, Bolte. <laughs> Dirty bit. Anyway. I'm sorry. That was a Black Eyed Peas no, song. I like yeah. it. Dirty bit. <laughs> Baby uh, dick. I really just like saying it now. That's really fun to say. Uh, Baby dick. You know, I just saw something. Speaking of Baby dick, um, there was a thing on this Bolte's thing. Bolte's like, can we stop <laughs> Listen, talking no, about no, it? No, this should Listen, be good. I All just right. saw this on Netflix. It was a whole... And I highly recommend everybody watch this <laughs> because it's a Katie Couric Netflix special on trans. Uh-huh. And it really covers all the bases on everything that you could have questions about or things you didn't know. Mm-hmm. And it's very enlightening. But then uh, back in the day, they'd have this, and they still use this today. It's this little thing they pull out. And if you're, baby dick, <laughs> um, isn't past an inch, <laughs> like you fall into this category where they could like, back in the day, like if you're, baby dick, 
was too small, <laughs> they would assign you female. What? And they would like, even though your insides, you didn't have a uterus or anything, they would just give you like a little transgender surgery and assign you girl. And wow. so this one kid, he, him and his twin brother, they're brothers and they kind of messed up his circumcision. Oh no. And so they're like, make him a girl. And so what? then this kid was being raised this whole time and he was like, awkward and he just didn't know what was wrong with him but his family's like here's your dress here's this that and he was just like uh that's horrible right so then when he found out and his parents told him he was like gosh that makes sense i'm a dude Uh and so there was like this that little car they still use to this day and so now the trans community is trying to get people to stop doing that yeah and let the kids be born with the genitals that they have even if they're like messed up or whatever and then the kid can decide when they when When they figure it out yeah huh but that's all. That Baby Dick. Crazy. Netflix. <laughs> wow. Katie Couric. Oh, wow. Well, well, okay. So back to McDonald's. Okay. okay all right. so, yeah, they're, they're the ones who brought it up. Finally, guys. McDonald's in Japan, of all places, oh, we're talking Baby about. Right? <laughs> they tweeted at Nat earlier this week that's supposed to be it for their fries, but it really seems like it's a metaphor, okay? Okay. The ad says, <clears throat> quote, the longest French fry isn't necessarily the best. Short French fries, curved French fries, crispy French fries, and soft French fries. All of them have good points. All of them have people who love them. What? That's totally That's a baby so dick true. ad. <laughs> totally. And the thing is, I agree with everything they said, right, totally. except the little ones. <laughs> like, See? But I like about those. So, like, <laughs> curve, so, it depends on where the, where the curve's going. The curve's going hard. up or going down, we could talk. Okay, yeah. right, if it's going right, left or right, right, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, I just want you to remember, Bolty, according to this, all, you know, yours has a good point, and you, there are Somebody people out there it. who love okay. yours. Yeah, exactly. Right. If you're that girl that's going to love Bolty's junk, <laughs> hit us up on social media. Okay. Oh, and then, I'm sorry, the ad went on. One more thing. Okay. As long as you value your own unique flavor, we believe you'll be able to contribute in your own way. Yo, as long God. as you dip in mayonnaise and beat on your face. Gross. 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 <laughs> You're listening to Larry and Kathy Radio. Two red meat patties, two slices of American cheese, topped with collusion, lies, and Russian dressing. The new Nothing Burger at Trump Jr.'s. Be sure to try our new impeachment pie shake. From the producers of Black Panther and Coco, another groundbreaking superhero emerges to represent those who are unrepresented. Marvel Comics present Hey Brown Alley Cat. Oh yeah. From a hidden city in North Denver called Old Condo. Yeah, it was my grandma's old condo, but she died and I got it. It was all sad. And he would face a new villain. I'm gentrification. An old condo is mine. Not if I have anything to do with it. This is the north side. Silly fool, you think this is still North Denver? <laughs> this is the Highlands now. Screw yous. This summer, get ready for a new kind of hero. Brown Alley Cat. <laughs> I call caca in a box. Rated PG for Brown Guy. All right, so Kathy went to Hollywood. The Hollywood. Da, 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 da. And you got to just see like uh, some B list actors. Right. Yeah, not. Like, I don't know, his name is like Dwayne. The yeah. Rock. Never Johnson. Heard of him. Johnson. <laughs> Bam. Uh, which is crazy because. You've always had a huge thing for him. Okay, okay, I'm not the only one. Yeah, okay, no, no, like, I know. Even you have a thing for him. Both yes, yeah, I'm straight. I was just saying, like, I was happy that you got to meet him because he's on your list of guys that you are like about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. Okay, so there's there was this was like a. This was a coming of age junket for Kathy to go on. This was adulting. Yeah, to go. Um, so so yeah so I. Got to go out to L.A. to Hollywood for the world premiere of nice. this. Nice. So this is like where the red carpet yes, is and all the Yes, where the stars show up and the paparazzi and, and they fans. take fa- Right. So I got to see that in action. Oh, cool. And it was right outside the Staples Center. I always want to see what that looked like. Yeah, it's totally crazy. cool. Yeah, totally crazy. We did something very similar for a bat mitzvah <laughs> yes, at the film right. Yeah, we did. Um, they had a red very, carpet. And all the rich kids walked right past us, could give a shit. <laughs> yeah. um, they could care less. Right. All these rich Jewish kids yeah. walked right past us. We're like, we're here to interview. Yeah. Um, uh. 
<laughs> and they all went in. And went. Wait, what do you have to say about Tyler? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. So so. Uh, it's red carpet. Red carpet. So. Um, and did you I get to go to that movie that everybody else was going? That was yes. the premiere. What? Yes. Right. So the world premiere where they all watched the movie oh. is where I was in. So did it was you have to the, wear like a. A sequin dress? No, I didn't get all that fancy with it. I just wore a dress. Okay. So, um, but it's on my Instagram. So, yeah, yeah, I saw some of those pictures. Yeah, it's totally so cool. So, so you go and you see like Entertainment Tonight, and he, you know, there's Nancy O'Dell interviewing The Rock, Whoa. and and you see es- you know, Escalades pulling up, and people getting out, and like Terry Crews got out, and you know, just like famous people, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's really cool. And then Jeffrey Dean Morgan is in the movie, and he's Negan from Walking Dead. Uh, what did you just say? <laughs> he is Negan. Yeah, they just said the N word. No, he's Negan. <laughs> She's like, he's the, my Negan. He's <laughs> like, what's up, my Negan? Oh, bah, 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 bah. So this was pretty exciting for me because I'm such a Walking Dead you fan. Like him too. I was going to get to right. see Negan, who's the villain that carries the right. bat. So, anyways, <laughs> shut up, both he's of you. He's my Negan. So, so the world premiere turned out to be cool. Um, we go in, we get seats. It's in an actual like, big you, theater. Where do you sit? Like in- they put me kind of down. Uh, so there's the so the it, it's on the floor, but it's kind of like you know like awards theater looking. Right, right, right. You know like the big awards like shows. The Paramount that you see. Or yeah, something like that. Yeah, like or when you see the Oscars. Right, right, right. And everyone's kind of on there's the main a huge floor. Balcony. Yeah, right. but everyone on the main floor kind of like goes up in a slant, so everybody's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So and you don't. So anyways, I was down there. To the left. Could so. you see where The Rock was sitting from? Well, where you were? he didn't stay for the movie. Oh. A lot of the, some of the stars didn't stay. Yeah, they're like, we got to get out of here. This movie sucks. <laughs> <Fail. Yeah. laughs> but the director said he stayed, and, but I didn't oh, yes. see where he By went. By contract, he <laughs> has to stay. Right. Truck, and then they keep putting him back in but the seat. But it was cool because The Rock came out before the movie and gave some shout outs to people, which was cool. He's all, look under your seat for a <laughs> prize. We're giving out some shirts. <laughs> Here's Kathy uh, <laughs> from Blazing Hair Radio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so and then the next day, this is where it all got crazy. So the next day is when I'm going to interview him. I'm going to interview Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I'm going to interview the two females. Hello, Na- I'm Jeffrey Dean Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> and the director, okay? okay? So so I so the junket's running a little late. Okay, so yeah. they it's so it's like an hour behind schedule already. And I Those have Those are nerve-wracking because yes. behind the scenes Everybody's a little nervous, but uh-huh. you know everybody's talking low yeah. because there's interviews going on in the rooms right, right next to you, sure. right? So if you just keep oh, it down, sure. you're going to be in the next pod. You're going right, to be after sure. Tom, and then and I'm going to stand behind you. Uh-huh. No, I'll be standing behind the rock, and I'll show you when you only have four minutes left, uh-huh. two, minutes, two minutes, and three minutes. Right, and nothing's worse than when you go in and you ask your celebrity a question and they answer it, and you think, "Oh, I have to be halfway <laughs> yeah. done," and they're like, "You still have four minutes," <laughs> and then you're like, "Damn it!" <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I. Like there's, that. there's that. There's that. There's that. Yeah, did you blow it or did you kill Shut it? Shut up. What did you do? Okay, so <laughs> my flight left at 545. Other people who's had, who had flights leaving around that time uh-huh. were in the first interviews of the day. Okay. So after the press conference, they were going right in and doing the interviews. So I just jumped up and got into their group, right? And, and another thing about the interview is, like, it's kind of like... Um, you want to ask a great question. You yes. kind of want to just hit it out of the park. Um, but you also kind of want a question that they talk for a minute. So yes. it takes up some time or whatever. <laughs> right. But yeah. um, the c- question is crucial. And I've been in that situation where I was like, oh, I got something for Jennifer Connelly. And yeah. I was like, because, you know, in the movie she was in, she let out some terrible cry when her husband oh, right, died. Right. And I brought up the fact that, you know, my mom made that similar sound. And it was like, it didn't hit. It just <laughs> was like, it was all awkward for everybody. It's like, oh, this guy's... Dad died. His mom got sad. Oh, and so so I, know how, right. I know how it right. could be. It could be hit and miss. You, yeah. you playing the questions in your head, mm-hmm. you can have a whole scenario where it's a hit. <laughs> yeah. And they love Homer. it. And they hold your hand and you guys have a moment. Right, and the camera guy's crying. <laughs> and, they're, right. and that never happens. <laughs> right. That's why Chris Parenti's like, what fart sound do you make? <laughs> yeah. you know I mean? like, he keeps it like kind of light. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's very right. good, he's good at, at, yeah, right, right. At, at doing those. Right, so, right. 
So, so yeah, in my head, I'm like, do I ask The Rock about this? Do I ask The Rock about this? You know, like, there's, you know, you never know how it's going to go. Right. And he's paired with, with one of the girls, and okay. Jeffrey Dean Morgan's paired with one of the girls, and then the bra- and then the director's in a room by himself. So there's only three rooms I have to do okay, the interviews good. for. So I'm like, okay. So I do the director, and the director, he's like 32 years old. Both of you, I'm sorry, I don't mean to make you feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're all, but he's a Hollywood director. Yeah. Yeah. 32. But he's also the dude that did San Andreas that had the oh, rock okay. in it. Okay. Okay, so more or less I get in there and I go, obviously you like buildings falling and that kind of unbelievable stuff. Do you just like tip over a building how much thought goes into it and he started saying that he's been a video game kid he's anal about stuff he acts out every single thing to us it's just a building falling over but he's done the structural integrity could this happen whatever yeah, right, right. so you know so more or less and, and now in Hollywood anything's possible right. with CGI and, and he's blah, blah. And, but he's fully aware that the movie is Unbelievable and over the top. Yeah. Okay. But to him, being a video game kid, that's what he wants. Mm-hmm. All right. It's kind of right. like Pacific Rim and all those. All movies. those. He loves that. This right, is right. The, this is his thing. Like he's Fiction. the happiest when he's destroying stuff, and he'll admit that. Okay. Right. So it's their version of you know like the yeah. destruction so the, movie. Right. So the movies, but the movie. I mean, it, the, the the stuff about him connecting with the gorilla and stuff. It's really good. Okay. You know. So it's Amy. it's another right. Amy destroy building. It's okay. So Amy. anyways, so it's another good to me. It's another good. Action the rock movie. action popcorn movie, right? Movie. Popcorn movie. So then they're like, "You're gonna have to go, Kathy. You can't do the other two rooms. You're gonna have to go after they break for lunch." And I'm like, "Oh, shh. like that's gonna make me miss my flight." Oh. And they're like, "Yeah, well, you know, you'll be the first one to interview him when he comes back at three thirty." And um, there, the rest of the cast is taking an hour lunch. He's the rock's only gonna take thirty minutes. You can be the first one in to interview him at three thirty. So I'm like, okay. So it's like two forty five, and I'm getting, I'm like, oh my god, this sucks. So I just walk over to where the interviews are. Like mm-hmm. I left the area where you're supposed to be having yeah. lunch or whenever right. the commons area, and I just went over to where the interview rooms were and stood there. And and I go, you, my flight leaves, and they're already starting to be like, he hasn't broke for lunch yet, so he hasn't. So the three. Time, had a sandwich. Yeah, three thirty time hasn't even started yet because he hasn't even taken the lunch for him to come right, back at three right, thirty. Right, right. So I'm like, great, now it's three forty five, whatever. So they're already starting to book me another flight, and I'm gonna get into Denver at one a.m. I have to be here with you guys by right. five. Like I'm just like in my head getting pissed, right? right? And so all of a sudden, I go, I go and stand outside the Rock's room. And there was some dumb girl from Fandango in front of me, right? And Will she you was, do the Fandango? She was hot. She was like, you know, right. just a hot chick in her 20s. <laughs> the people of Fandango want to know, do you, do you like pineapple on your pizza? <laughs> yeah, and then The Rock is like, well, of course I do. I love Hawaiian pizza, blah, blah, blah. He's all, keep talking, pretty girl. Totally, right. He's and all. so then they break, and and uh, he's getting up to go. To, obviously, it's lunch now. And there's nobody else on the studio set other than the, the camera crew with him. A and couple you're standing of there with, with the your clipboard. question. Yeah. On um, episode 12 <laughs> of uh, WWE. <laughs> and so it, was, it echoed. So I just said... He goes, somebody said, hey, Rock, can you do one more? And I just said, could you please do it? I got to get home to my kids. I got to catch my flight. And that's all it took. And he goes, absolutely, get in here. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, but then after Kathy left, he's like, fire that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find out when you're He's like, I, I miss my sandwich. He could have, so I walk in. And his sandwich is wide open. I'm there. very, I'm told, I tell him how, how grateful I am. Thank you for letting me do mm-hmm. this interview. Plus, I'm not one of the only people that got him alone. Like, oh, even nice. Nancy O'Dell from Entertainment Tonight interviewed him with the girl. Oh, nice. Like, so now I've actually got him alone, cool. which is cool. Yeah. So I sit down and I'm like so nervous. This sounds like the police will be called soon. <laughs> so it's just me and him. We're alone. <laughs> so I'm really nervous because now all of a sudden you're realizing, shit, like all of a sudden you are standing in yeah. front of the are rock. We, you're right. And I'm sorry, no, I didn't no, mean no. to swear. That's right. I, we beeped every single okay. one of them. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So we sit down and, you know, the first thing you have to do is slate, which means. Hey, this I'm is Kathy. Mike I'm Bolte a from Denver. Yeah. I'm into <laughs> no, nachos no, no. and poetry. <laughs> so I say, Kathy Johnson. And I winked at him when I said the Johnson, because, you know, he's yeah. Dwayne Johnson. And he goes, ah, we're related. <laughs> and I was like, your heart is melting. <laughs> and then uh, he all, says, yes, you're the 
father I, of my children. I say Denver. <laughs> he says, oh, wow, there's a really good song. One of my favorite songs is about Denver. And I go, what song is that? And he goes, it's a Hank Williams song. And he talks about Denver. Hmm. And I said, oh, okay. I said, well, didn't you... Because Mr. Fish is a sports nerd. I go, yeah. didn't you get into a huge-ass fight um, at the CU campus um, when you played them one year? And he was like, that's right. We were in a big old brawl in Boulder. Huh. That He goes, that's good memory. And I was like, well, it's my husband. So all of a sudden, I'm wow. like, oh, my God, Kathy, now you're, you're being weird. Or, yeah. or I'm in, no, one or the right. other. I think you're is, in. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, I see the dude over to the side, three minutes left. And then you give him the finger. <laughs> yeah. You're like, put <laughs> another <laughs> minute on. You know, I mean, the rock are tight. So, <laughs> so I ask him about my deaf dog doing sign language. He gives me a sign to give to Jack. Amy. Amy, Amy monkey. Right, exactly. Does he do sign to the monkey? <laughs> yeah, he does oh, signs okay. with the monkey. So then... So is that, did he do real sign language? Yes, oh, okay. right. So then I say, I, I tell him, so here's the crazy thing. This movie didn't have a happy ending. But he changed it. He changed the entire script so that it had a happy ending because he wants his fans so to have... So some female gorilla comes out and gives that guy a handy J. <laughs> she gives the big gorilla... Okay, I should never say happy ending around you. <laughs> yeah. You guys hear something totally different. This big old banana. And you know, he's the size of a building, so right. that's, you got to have big hands. You did the math. Yeah, right. so We're going to have to use a forklift. I asked him why that's important. He said that everybody has a, a crappy life, more or less, and he wants... He's all except me. He wants his people to have a good experience when they come to the movies right like a good ride you and want, then like, right. and then i i was like we were out of time so i had three minutes with him isn't so that crazy re- i feel like i only have three minutes yeah. wait a minute i right. gotta ask a question okay. okay so when he says when you say that it has a happy ending i'm picturing the gorilla and the woman and <laughs> the go. other Here character we go. like Here we go. we're gonna live together in <laughs> uh-huh. an area you know what i mean like normal life right, right exactly <laughs> it's like the gorilla gets to live versus the gorilla dies i'm assuming yeah well, I don't want to give it away. Oh, okay. Yes, All right, fine. right. I mean, if there, it's out there. He's okay. done some articles where he said what the okay. thing is. Spoiler alert, right. whatever. But whatever. So then, I just assume Gorilla the, lives. Uh-huh. We were all told strict mandate: do not ask him for a picture. Okay, oh. do your interview. Do you not got, ask him for a picture. Well, yeah, I, I thought it was just known that you don't ask. You, you don't, don't ask because right. it really ruins your credibility. For sure, right. you're, you're there to get the, the goods right. and do your piece. So the only, only, only reason that I got that is because the gods, the gods, the heaven shined above me. <laughs> Nobody else was around. One. Two, I was the last one, which made it three, him standing up to leave at the same time I was. So that's the only reason. I was like, as long as we're both standing here, I was like, you'll make me the coolest kid in Denver. Please let me take a picture with you. And he was like, sure. And then his Uh, big old gorilla hand came on and sat on my shoulder. Did he give you a happy ending? No. Yes, that was. It was a happy ending. To the interview. Right, you're right. And, And Warner Brothers had their big old navigator with the dark tinted windows and stuff sitting there on the lot for me so when I got done with the interview oh nice they, you they, I didn't have to away. get a taxi or anything oh, I nice. got to go in the cool ass That's Warner nice. Brothers thing that nice. was kind of cool so, he's yeah. all again never invite that woman <laughs> yeah. she ta- it was all about her and her dog uh-huh. and her football <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> dear lord oh my god it was live from the mile high city this is Larry and Kathy radio with a side of Mike Bolte Tonight on BH1, Love and Hip Hop Denver. Little Limpy tries to get his latest single in Angelo's on Colfax. And Tay Tay seems to be torn between two men. Well, you know I got mad love for Grigsby, but Hypnotic pays the bill. Kathy J gives her ex, Mr. Big, a shout out live on her TV show. Oh, I totally miss Mr. Big. We were matching Timberland boots in the fall. <laughs> oh, and when we had sex, he would rearrange my organs. <laughs> and rapper Young Bleach turns. 35 and still thinks he met Beyonce. So I'm standing outside the 7-Eleven and who comes out? Beyonce and Jay-Z. And Beyonce is like, you want some of my nachos bleach? And I'm like, no, I'm lactose intolerant. On the next Love and Hip Hop Denver, Kingdom finally gets his crown. Yo, welcome to Burger King. Can I take your order? Tonight on VH1 Love and Hip Hop Denver. I don't care what they say about me. And now. I go dumb, I go stupid, I get crazy. Come on and click. It's Kathy J's Stupid News. I love stories like this. Okay. Guy gets knocked out 
by a boxer after he enters his home. Oh, yeah, those are the best. <laughs> those yeah. are the best. It's like, ooh, you broke into the wrong house, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> right. Usually it's some scared lady with nothing. Right. You know what Not I mean? Not somebody who's right. like a trained yeah. boxer. Oh. And then if you just see it, like, look at that guy's sad black eye. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he got the work for sure. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this happened up in Michigan. A guy said he did what he had to do to protect his family when a stranger walked right into his house unannounced. Jonathan said he vividly remembers Friday night when his teenage daughter called him. She told me a person had gotten into the house. He found the guy outside on the street. He had one arm like this and he was doing this and trying to get in. And, uh, you know, like, so then Abrams, who says he's a boxer, the instincts kicked in. He instantly punched him and the dude hit the ground and was out cold. He said that he had like a... <laughs> a really clear picture of what he did the guy he he did it to has no remember he <laughs> yeah remember he doesn't anything. remember yeah. a damn yeah. thing <laughs> Jacob Cruz is 32 he's the dude that doesn't remember anything <laughs> right who's the president <laughs> right. Obama yeah he doesn't Obama. even know that you know, Trump <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> um, he was charged with breaking and entering but the dad uh, the boxer said that something else more sinister was going on he thinks the guy was there to snatch a kid whoa Ooh, he's grateful that his family's safe, and he said that he's happy <laughs> that he punched that dude. Well, and as I'm sure maybe when that you, should knock some sense into you. Well, I was saying when you um, like take, have that kind of training, and you kind of know that you have that ability, it's like like I said, the rest of us who hear the break in and we have no skills. Right. Yeah. We're like throwing a lamp, can, right. Mat, knife, right, right. <laughs> bat. We hit ourselves taser. with it. <laughs> I think that all the time. I always tell Mr. Fish, and I'm like, I have nothing up here. Because I used to have a a butcher knife, like, like, taped to the back of my dresser. Uh Like, the nightstand. Oh, I'm Uh paranoid, Bolsey. But with the girls and stuff, I didn't want that just chilling there. Right. Right. So I moved it. Now, like, there's sometimes I'm up there going... I have nothing. What am I going to do? I'm not going to throw this lamp at him. First of all, it's going to get stuck back there. Me trying to pull it out, no, no, the no. cord out. Here's, here's what you do. You, you you let the kids be your getaway. You're like, okay, he'll obviously go for them. And oh, I, you can get out of there. Oh, oh. Right, exactly. I mean, I'll be waiting at the bottom of the stairs for him. That's what oh, it yes. is. <laughs> um, okay, so a guy who doesn't like Bud Light gets arrested for stealing a 12 pack of it. Well, I mean, maybe it was like the only beer available. I uh, you know, maybe. I the mean, Corona's over by the register. Right, yeah. and that's exactly right. where they were. The cameras are. Right, exactly. I, I see that, right. I'm just going to grab this one. It's even warm. Jason is 30. Oh, Jason's 31 years old. Last Tuesday, he got arrested for trying to steal a 12 pack of Bud Light from the dollar store in Florida. I didn't even know the dollar store sold I beer. I didn't either, but maybe down in Florida, is the that dollar a store dollar does. dollar a can, so that's Who $12. Knows? <laughs> When cops asked him why he did it, he said, I don't know. I don't even drink Bud Light. He's facing charges, got a long rap sheet, priors for meth, and aggravated battery on a pregnant lady. He's all, I'm more of a Colt 45 guy. (laughs) (laughs) And he had a swastika tattoo on his right. Oh, so that's not him. I am more of a Guinness. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. And finally, speaking of beer, two kids, it really happened, just like in a cartoon. Two kids in a trench coat trying to buy beer. Shut <laughs> up. It actually happened. It actually happened. Somebody tried it, and unfortunately, we don't have a photo of it. Oh, darn it. So sad. So, uh, two kids in California tried to buy beer last week. So, one of them sat on the other one's shoulders. They wore a giant <laughs> trench coat. It's like gold member. Right, uh, and you're like, yeah, when he was on me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gotta have a fake mustache, too. Uh, that probably helps. They, they should have, see, and that's what it was, Larry. They right. didn't do anything to their face. Right, it's like a baby. It's like so, a baby on, yeah, so you're even. Tall baby. <laughs> <laughs> and the shopkeeper says it was clear that they didn't practice. He said, hello, shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for some of your Guinness. Uh, they said it was clearly two kids in a trench coat, not a tall guy with a boyish face. The clerk denied him, and the kid decided to say, I'm an undercover detective. <laughs> we both are. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, I am. <laughs> You're listening to Larry and Kathy Radio. Rise and shine. Larry and Kathy Radio. Every morning. Blazing Hit Radio, Larry, Kathy, and Wiggins are back with another one. Look at my chest, there is something wrong with me. 
One boob's an A cup, the other's double D. They call me mismatch, they make fun of me. One looks like a sting from a bumblebee. Latinos call them chichi, so please say hola. I have chest fuzz, I got a hairyola. One bounce is good, the other barely moves. What can I say, cause I got funny boobs. They so strange, they made my neighbors move. They do stand up cause I got funny boobs. I got some chest hair, I got fuzzy boobs. As far as knockers go, I'm breaking all the rules. Some people say that I got ugly boobs. If you don't like to laugh, these aren't the ones for you. We would have to put something in to thicken up the tissue. We do it all the time. The options are to put a piece of cadaver skin underneath, okay. a piece of pig skin, or a piece of mesh, which will allow your own collagen to grow in. Cadaver skin? What if it came from, like, you know, a serial killer? I know that sounds crazy, but you have to think about things like that. How do you feel about breast scars in order to improve the raisiny appearance of the skin? Yeah, I'm fine with it. At my chest, there is something wrong with me. One boob's an A cup, the other's double D. They call me mismatch, they make fun of me. One looks like a sting from a bumblebee. Okay. All right, so you guys know that I'm like famous for coming up with the like, great ideas. Yes. And they're like the million dollar ideas. Million dollar ideas and makes other people rich, not us. Right. And then Kathy's famous for saying, don't say it on the air. Yeah. Let us see if we want to do it first. I was huh? just about to say that right. to you. But then we're also famous for never following through. At all. Right. So right. we may as well just float them out there and see I don't what happens. Think so. Send it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you know the bark box, right? No. Um, a bark box is something like you pay $20 a month and they send you like a dog treat oh, yeah, and, yeah. and, Pets a, and, stuff and a squeaky that. animal right. yes. whatever You're right so i'm thinking oh my god there should be a bark box for everything for everybody so like you would have a website and uh -huh. then you'd be like oh i'm gonna get kathy a box and i know she likes you know i'll click on some things that you like okay like she likes candy corns right. and caramels There's and then versions she, of that right and then she likes um books um about wizards or whatever <laughs> yeah and then just right. you pick enough things and then uh -huh. so for 20 dollars a month you could send like your mom gets a little snack and a treat and a good book oh, or something that yeah. would be cute so yeah it's that like that is a, uh, yeah and then you could even have stoner box so you uh, once a month you get a box and it's got like a new piece of glass and in papers. it some oh. papers i was thinking chocolate chip cookies <laughs> right you can even put that too right so yeah so that's my big idea it's called everybody box mm -hmm. uh -huh. and i'm gonna need a warehouse the size of an amazon, <laughs> amazon. Yeah. right and right. so and i need like a bunch of employees uh -huh. hopefully some illegal yeah because i you know right. trying to keep my, keep the, my keep your cost profit down. margins <laughs> yeah so that's why we never follow through yeah. so right if Anybody wants that? Good there luck. There you go. That's your yours. Your starting costs alone are like hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> You're welcome. Right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I thought that would be something decent. <laughs> it was a good try. Mm, no, a, yeah, no, I think it's a good, great idea. I think it's probably idea. happening right now. Well, did you see that they also, um, you know, like the government is trying to play off of the boxed meal thing, right? Okay, in what way? Because they want to send people food instead of giving them food stamps. Okay. So yeah. like apparently okay. they're right. so they're trying to make it look like one of those meal services. Oh, like a green chef or right, a hello or fresh like, the, a like fresh the real apron ones. or whatever, right? Oh yeah. But it's You're not going to do that. Right, but they're, they're in other words they're like talking of it in those terms like uh -huh. well instead of you wasting food stamps on this that or the other we'll just send you a complete box of everything you need yeah exactly and, and then they showed this box on the news and it was just like not good at all what was, was like, in it like a block of cheese that's not cheese <laughs> oh. and like some sort of like it was all generic food yeah. totally like, it almost looked like rations or uh -huh. like uh -huh. like military the food kitchen right or like prep doomsday preppers oh that's bad you know what I mean oh, it looked yeah, like kind of okay. like that You're like yay right. the box is here right yay. Like, right. thanks, President Trump. You know how many times people said, thanks, Obama. Now we finally get to start going, thanks, <laughs> thanks Trump. Trump. <laughs> You're listening to Larry and Kathy Radio. Rise and shine. Larry and Kathy Radio. Every morning. Coming soon, the revolutionary iPhone X. With no charging port, no headphone jack, no home button. And now... 
with no screen. That's right, we got rid of the cumbersome screen. Now the new iPhone X is just a lightweight device with no working parts and no practical purpose. And starting at only $1,000. And coming soon, the new iWatch with no face, no band, or watch. Apple, we're trying. Let's talk about beards and you guys and your facial hair and whether or not we as ladies like it. Well, you were Chris's beard for most of his high school years. So you You know what would though? Know. He didn't tell me. Hey. He didn't tell me. Hey, that he was it a wasn't good... true love like I was hoping. I know, but hey, at least you got like some loving out of it. You know what I mean? Right. Some gay guys date girls and never give it up. Mm-hmm. That's true. You know I mean? Right. Yeah. That was nice of him to face Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, so a new survey went came out and asked people if they think guys are more attractive with or without facial hair. Baby face or no baby face? Like, baby face sometimes indicates youthfulness. It's like, yes. like everybody's seen that one guy. It's like, um, uh, like um, Sean Mendez. You're like, oh, he doesn't even shave yet. Totally, yeah. right. And so you're like, he I doesn't kind of, have any hair on his whole body. Right. You're like, advantage. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like driving a new car with leather interior. You're like, mm, this smells amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, yeah, so eventually, uh, I kind of like guys with a little bit of stubble. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. a day or two of growth. Well, I that's because that's because you you shave and all of a sudden your stubble comes right like back. Like Homer Simpson. <laughs> and then he shaved and it was all... <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but wait. Um, yeah, like I think... What do you, I mean, are you... Well, I was, like, I was you waiting know, like for Bolte you, to chime in. I like men who are... <laughs> yeah. um, Let me tell you. Well, you know, when you think about like an actor, they put Brad Pitt up. Is, does Brad Pitt look cuter when he's clean shaven or Both. has a little bit of a scruff? It, it just Does depends. George Clooney look better clean shaven or with a little bit I of think, a scruff? I think Clooney looks better with a little scruff. Okay. But I mean, I want my Shawn Mendes smooth. Clean yeah. shaven, okay. Right. Well, 41% of women say that guys look their best clean shaven. Okay, well, then that's what I think most guys do. But then, uh, you know, it's like it really is crazy because, like, I shave today, right? And so I'm smooth. So, like, I would say this is (laughs) – bear with me on this. Bear with me on this. Okay, you're the Um, bear. Okay, exactly. (laughs) But listen, um, you know how, like, if you were having a man friend over Kathy, you'd be like, I "I better (laughs) – you know, shave my chocha. Okay, you, right. know, you, gotta, you, you wouldn't you would want to have your legs all smooth and everything right, like that. Right, right, right. So when I'm having a man friend over, I okay, want to have... Okay, you shave. Okay, so... Well, well, sh- I'm not finished. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, is like, if you let uh, the, the beer come out even just like one day... Or two, it's it gets a pretty oh, it rough. Hurts. Yeah. Right, you could really mess somebody up. Like yeah. even, I'm sure if you kiss your husband, ladies, and he's hasn't shaved a couple days, right. it's kind of rough. Like, it could the make beards you and stuff, the, the right. mustaches. Right, right, right for sure. Right, so right. I get why the women like smooth. Mm-hmm. Plus, there, I just learned this last week from an esthetician. The more you guys actually shave... You're kind of like dermaplaning, dermaplaning right. your skin, right, for so sure. it keeps dead skin off of your face. So whereas a beard, it would trap a, it. Right, you're forcing a facial on yourself that you didn't even know you were giving. Right, because when you go to an expensive facial, they actually take a blade and cut, uh, uh. scrape off all your dead skin. Yeah, uh. so, so you're, you're kind, kind of, of doing, doing that. that. Yeah, it's just that we don't do it. From the nose up. So we need to start shaving our forehead and our, yeah. Um, A lot of guys with facial hair did say it makes them feel more masculine. Does it make you feel... This this doesn't even go in line with the way what's trending now because there's so many guys with beards now and that women love guys with beards. Yeah, right. And it's like my husband has had a beard for the last couple years because beards are so big. Right. And so it's just so right. weird that most women want a smooth guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, right, right. It's um, probably because it's Shawn Mendes. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, smooth guys are also seen as slightly more intelligent and trustworthy than dudes without beards, which is crazy to me because I always will trust a guy with a beard or something for some reason. Well, you always make the wrong choice. Yeah, I always do. So we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Bolty, what is this on you, this uh, growth? I, this is about five days. Okay. okay. So can I, I touch? Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, I just think that's softer. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we, and yours, there, people don't understand this, oh but in God. the studio, we've made a, a change a move. where, yeah, we're Bolty yeah. sitting closer <laughs> oh to Kathy. God. Now I'm really I in. I can't just listen, ask him. Listen, get away, Bolty. Listen, don't listen, lead listen. into this. Oh, she loves yeah, it. So, but I, now I have a front row to this whole. <laughs> it's nothing <laughs> like that. Oh, oh yes. Oh, my God. Is it? Yeah, no, it's is it? Up. Hey, and you know what? I was running uh, audio earlier, and I did get a big chunk of that. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, that you, you you would grow a good solid beard. Yeah, I think some dudes. Once Drake got a beard, it was like he can never go back. <laughs> kind shaved Drake. He looks weird. Looks weird. Yeah. yeah. Right. Some right. guys look better like, with it. It kind of hides your double chin. That's kind of why I like or it. Or it highlights it. <laughs> yeah. Right. But some guys definitely look like um, I I don't know like just some guys with a couple days growth to me look perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me too. I agree. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I don't know. Yeah. I was like, end scene. Or did you have more beard facts? No, no, I didn't know. <laughs> Come on, beard. What else you got? No, I have lots got. more beard friends. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> but yeah, I know more or less exactly what you're saying. The beard mustache combo. So many people like that one, too. A little bit of scruff. Mm-hmm. That's what people want. <laughs> well, and then it's like, if you look at um, the way men age, yes. it's like uh, Nana, who works with us, mm-hmm. Aldo. Aldo. The, the guy, guy who yeah. took the towels. <laughs> well, there's something else about him that's a mystery. What Why is it? does Aldo never have a beard anymore? Yeah. Because he used to be the gruffy guy. And he was. Why? I've never seen him with a gruff. He, he always had a gruff, and he uh, now he also doesn't have eyebrows. Okay, you're and lying. And I figured it out. <laughs> you're why. Lying. why? Because I saw him the other day when he hadn't shaved, and he almost could have been Santa. No way. It's all silver. Right. No He's way. He's a silver fox. Are you and kidding so, me? Yeah, and so like I think that's why he shaves. Like he cuts his eyebrows to as short as they'll go <laughs> when he doesn't know that he could probably like just put some mascara on him. Right, right, or, or a little eyeshadow coloring. Or or there's something. just for men. Like right, there's other like options. That. I'm Another just weird shocked. thing about he's a Nana. Good looking dude. <laughs> oh no, he's a very handsome guy. Right. He even shaves his arms, which makes me think he has Santa arms. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God Santa he doesn't arms. listen to this. Thank show. God he shaves his arms. No, thank God okay he doesn't listen that. to this show. Yeah. No, I don't like that he shaves his arms because if you're standing next to him or you brush up against him, so scrape. It, it feels like lady leg that hasn't been shaved uh, for a couple oh, days. Oh, right, right. And I'm all nana. <laughs> <laughs> you're listening to Larry and Kathy Radio. Hungry for Italian? Well, Olive Garden has got you covered with our endless pasta. That's right, endless pasta is back. And before you leave, take an extra Olive Garden meal to go. You guessed it, extra meal to go is back too. And if that wasn't enough for your fat ass, we'll give you an entire cheesecake as you're walking to your car because it's cheesecake as you're walking to your car week. Still hungry? Pull behind the restaurant and we'll give you 100 unbaked breadsticks because it's unbaked breadstick month. Olive Garden, we get it, you're fat. Okay, so check this out. A new story just came out. A lady did an Ancestry.com DNA thing, uh, right? And it's all, you're half elephant. <laughs> so what? No. You're related to an elephant from India. Her father wasn't her real father, according to the <gasps> DNA research. Her father turned out to be... Her parents' fertility doctor. Ah, uh, so the like parents didn't even know. I don't know if they're. I don't know. Let's read the story. Yeah, together. because I mean, only a fertility doctor would be able to go. I'm going to put my sample in there totally. instead. And I'm, I'm sorry, but I totally have seen that, like on a CSI uh-huh. or an SVU or or an I STD. Mean, something, right, <laughs> where the fertility doctor was using his own stuff. Whoa, to, to, to see get a bunch of little hymns running yes, around. Yes, exactly. Then, Ego. That, I know, but tell me that if they caught him, they're like, now you owe. Ten million dollars yeah, in child, child support. support. <laughs> totally. Okay, so this chick named Kelly, she's thirty six years old. She's from Washington. She did one of those online DNA tests from Ancestry.com. Have you Which, done it? Have you no. done it? No. And, and this is what this you guys is, don't want a company having all your right, DNA, that, right? That's why I think it's so funny. It's like people are like, you know, they want they don't want their social security number out, but here's my full DNA. Yeah. And yeah, then but let what's me mail that gonna it to do? What's that gonna do? Because you know do? what? You know, what? That, first of all, in that sample, they're not telling you it's going to be like one of those things like when you agree to um, iTunes and now okay, they can right. access Accent your conditions. mic on your phone. So I think that these people now can sell your information and go, oh, she's eventually going to have cancer or oh, she has something like this right. or her family's diabetic. Well, they don't, say and, they don't do that. I know, but they, I, you never right. know. And then they're going to not insure you because, oh, she's predisposed yeah. to this oh, or that. Oh, yeah, that would And suck. also, let me take it a step further because you're a conspiracy theorist. I totally Then am. all of a sudden, now they have your DNA and they're like, Oh, this dead person's here. Let's put a little of her DNA there. While well, you were there, why is your DNA there, Kathy? Oh, uh, right, mm-hmm, right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I've done it, and uh, right, so <laughs> I've sent my DNA to a place before. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, but was that why you don't want to do it, Bolte? No, I'd do it. You Bolte's do it? like, I don't want to do it because it's thirty nine dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> <Right>. the problem. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so she did Ancestry.com last year, and the surprise was in the results. Her father, Howard, Howard Fowler, wasn't listed as her father. Instead, the test said her father was a name named a man named Gerard, Gerald Mortimer. Okay, that's fucked up because he, he doesn't even know that, that, that... It's not his kid. Right. Wow. Yeah, oh. so her parents' fertility doctor... Name was Gerald Mortimer. Turns out her parents had trouble conceiving, so they went to Dr. Mortimer. He suggested, he suggested mixing Howard, the dad, his sperm with some from a donor who had a higher sperm count and looked like Howard. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. But he didn't He's find all, a good donor. I also donor. think that we should put this in my penis and let me put my penis in your wife. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> just to make sure He's it all, really gets up all, in there. I'm sorry, Howard. This is just how it's done. <laughs> yeah, so you were right, Larry. The family did not know that that's what happened. So Whoa. the dad, this whole life, for 36 years, he's thought, this is my daughter. Kelly and her parents are now suing Dr. Mortimer, his wife, and the clinic where they worked, seeking only 75 grand in damages. You'd think that'd be a lot more. Yeah. You'd think and then, that'd be and a then, lot more. Well, and then the daughter's all devastated. She's like, oh, daddy. He's all, don't call me that. Yeah. yeah right? <laughs> I'm not oh. your father. Right, and you owe me a lot of money back. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I'll be taking that graduation <laughs> car back. Right, I wonder if you could. What do you get back? For my real daughter. <laughs> Live from the Mile High City. This is Larry and Kathy Radio. With the side of Mike Bolte. Hey, what's up? I'm Linda. How can I help you? Yes, I'm looking to build some wood shelves for our living room, and I'm not really sure where to start. Listen, I can show you the wood you need to buy, point out all the screws and nails you'll need, but why? Excuse me? No offense, but clearly you have no experience building anything but a tasty frittata and a cranberry mimosa. (laughs) Am I right? (laughs) You're right. I know I am. I also know I could personally build a bookshelf for you with my eyes closed. But let's face it, lesbians and queens don't really hang out together. I mean, sure, we play for the same team, but different leagues. You know what I mean? All tea, girl. All tea. Just go to Restoration Hardware. All the bookcases are already built. OMG, I love their stuff. Great idea. Thanks. That's why I'm here. Homo Depot. Let's not build something. You know that's Lowe's slogan. There's going to be a Toy Story 4. Yay! It's going to be released next in 20, 2019. Um, did you know that Tom Hanks' brother does all of Woody's voiceovers for anything that's not a movie? Really? Yeah, so like when you go to the ride at Disney and you're like, you know, there's a snake in yeah, my boot. that's it's, not Tom Hanks? It's Tom Hanks' brother. Okay, uh, it still sounds yeah, good, though. I know, isn't that crazy? Right. They need to do some people that sound like them. Right, because Baby we, Boss. B- boss they, Baby. A Boss Baby. They, we were they just have, talking about this. Right, they, it's a TV show now, and there's none of the original cast. Yeah. So there's no Alec Baldwin, and you're like, oh, well, that sucks. You, you get used to those voices, right, the way they, they sound. Well, and he's got ten brothers that aren't working. Exactly, they would have <laughs> Love the check. Right. The sequel was announced several years ago, but was previous delay- delayed. The series debuted in 1995. 1995. Wow. Is when, wow. Um, uh, so 2019. And you know what see. they're going to have to do is with the next one, update some of the toys. Like they have to introduce some of the current toys. Yeah, yeah they you know do. I mean? Right. Some newer ones. Right. They say that Toy Story 4, although this is not confirmed, is going to revolve around a love story between Woody and Bo Peep. Oh, cool. That might be cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Von Miller, you might be in trouble. Wow. Why? What did he do? What did Von do? Von was down uh, partying. Have you seen all the pictures of him down partying in Miami? Uh-uh. Well, the girls look good. The yacht looks good. They're Didn't just he catch like, a big giant fish? Yeah, and he caught some hammerhead. And you he's, can't catch him. So he's under investigation for it. Wow. But he's not phased by it because he's keeping, he's continuing to party. It's already mounted and on his above his fireplace. <laughs> yeah. Right, totally. <laughs> I mean, he caught it, pulled it out of the water, and everything. So, and you, it's obviously a hammerhead. You well, would have seen that coming out of the water. And I'm sorry, but the people that run his yacht that he rented and everything, or the fishing people, should have been like, "Oh, nope. that's a throwback." Yeah. Yes. Right. right. Yeah. Throw that back. Or because oh. you can get like giant fish. Yeah. Yeah. Swordfish and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm, right. Uh-huh. So whatever. Um, did you guys uh, watch Saturday Night Live? Oh yeah. Yes, that was that really was hilarious. Good. It was really Black good. Black Jeopardy. Hilarious. It was good with, with uh, Chadwick Boseman. Right, right. Yes, and Cardi B announced <laughs> her pregnancy in a big way. Right, right. Baby belly. Right, right. She uh, was been trying to hide the obvious, um, and she did one skit where she kind of like definitely overacted. They really needed her to just be like Cardi B, uh-huh. and she was like trying to put too much on. So. 
I mean, I don't know. I, it's kind of crazy how everybody is falling out for her. Everybody's yes, falling all totally. over themselves for her. And it's like even people that I know that like only know one of her songs, but they're like, oh, Cardi B. Mm-hmm. It's like she was coming out of the late or one of the talk shows. <laughs> uh-huh. And there was like just all people these people making crazy. a big to do. And it's like some of the ladies look like our moms. I don't know <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Mom, shut up. Right, mom. Like, how do you even know who she is? <laughs> Leave her alone, mom. Right. Yeah. 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 And I thought she did fine. You know? I don't know. But I mean, if, I, if I'm Nick. I'm a little pissed because she's the new it girl, which is fine. But it's like she's getting opportunities that Nikki never got. See, and that's where I would be upset. I would right. be a little salty if I was right. Nikki. She didn't right. put in the work like Nikki did. That's right. exactly right. Like for Nikki sure. opened the door for her, and now she's right. taking advantage of all <laughs> of that. Nikki's like Bruno Mars never called me. Yeah, and right. if you really look at it, it's like. Nikki could kind of be perceived as played in the sense that she's been on a hundred tracks. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And she's always been the go-to girl if you yeah. want to do... A female rapper. If you wanted if to you get wanted, up right. your track or That's whatever. That's true. Right. Very true. Very true. All right. So, Page Six is reporting... One of the Real Housewives of, uh, Real Housewives of mm-hmm. New York City is now saying that Russell Simmons groped her. Oh, okay. More coming down on Russell Simmons. Creeper. Man. And then he's like coming out and saying... Hey, this is, I'm really uh, winning here because this girl is lied and she lied about this yes. and that. And so he's still out there kind of doing damage control. Yeah, it's still, I, I don't know. Like, he's got more than one woman coming forward. So right, that's for sure. Gotta, mm-hmm. Seacrest is like, I'm still at one, he's everybody. Still at yeah, you are. You're still one line, Right, right. <laughs> right. You're still one. Mayor Hancock's still at one. Right. You guys are still flying below the radar. <laughs> Um, Chance the Rapper is going to address Dillard University's 2018 grads. How cool would that be? Oh, that's cool. Totally. That would be really cool. Why that college? Like, what makes Dillard... <laughs> Dillard <laughs> University. Where is that? <laughs> you well, there used to be a Bolton? Dillard's on 16th Street Mall. There was. There oh. was a Dillard's right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's, <laughs> the one in New Orleans. It's their 82nd commencement ceremony. 200 graduates. He's going to be there and give the uh, big old speech. He's not signed... He's not signed, but a multiple Grammy winner is what they said into... What you introduced him as? Whatever, oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, that was the wrong part of me of the quote uh, for me to read. <laughs> yeah, he's a Grammy winner. And, yeah. right, Grammy winner. There you go. And finally, where was it? Uh, there's a new lady in Brad Pitt's life. Oh, no, is it Jennifer no. Aniston? I hear she's available. Yeah, right, no. It's some chick that wears a lot of makeup. Yeah, she's definitely, he's dating down for sure. She's well, dating down. You know what's crazy? I was thinking about the whole uh, him and Jennifer Aniston when I was, uh, Netflix has friends on there, right? Uh-huh. And so Chris will sometimes just put friends on in the background. I guess that's what white people do. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's like, <laughs> oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I was watching the episode and I was like, man, she was hot. Oh, yeah. Like she was like just rocking these dope outfits, and I get why Brad Pitt yeah. saw her as like, oh my god, she's super dank, you know. And so I like, but when once he met Angelina Jolie, I think we were all in agreement that that was hot, that, that was fire. That, you couldn't stop that. Yeah. No, you know what I mean. That was, they had that was some type of like vibe, chemistry right, right. for sure. And compared to, I mean, if you put Jennifer Aniston next to Angelina Jolie at the time, yeah, it was like. Uh, vanilla ice cream and a banana split. Right. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. right, right. But now the Angelina Jolie is getting older and more... More maleficent Exactly. Yeah. You're looking at Jennifer Aniston in her eye drop commercial going, eh, she's still... <laughs> she's still holding she, up. Right, she yeah. looks yeah. tan. She looks right. alive. Mm-hmm. But I still think Angelina, if she wants to pull on the sex kitten, you'd have a time of your life. I know, but she's going to have to start... If she gets a role like that that wants her to be hot, yeah. she's going to have like six yeah. months of pre-eating to do. <laughs> right, yeah. she will. She right. will. She will. But this lady is just... a. She's an MIT professor. Oh, so he's so, going for brains. Mm, maybe he's going for brains, but she's not that. Now that I know she's not a Hollywood actress, somebody can help her with her makeup. Is she hot? Yeah, she's good see. looking. I don't think yeah. so. No, well, uh, well, and he thinks Nancy Grace is hot. So right. Uh, I just don't know. You where also we're gonna, like Cash Me Outside. How <laughs> <laughs> about that? There she is, the brunette. Okay. okay. Oh no! Uh. Take off all the crazy makeup. You know who she looks like? Who? She kind of looks like the girl in uh, Pet Detective that had her junk tucked. Oh, uh, what was her name? <laughs> Sean. Uh, Sean, whatever. Yes, yeah, right. the lady. Uh, right. He's, oh, well, that's, that's the worst case of hemorrhoids I've ever seen. Well, then that is not a good thing, uh, right? right. <laughs> <laughs>